So this video is going to be about both uh, making collages in Picasa and also uh, working with the movie feature, how to make movie slideshows within Picasa. So I'm just going to jump right into it and um, I'm going to make a collage. So the first thing you're, you're going to want to do with uh, making collages in Picasa is select the photos that you want to work with. All right, so I can just kind of go shopping around whatever photos I want to do. I can do a few people shots. I just have some of these Africa shots here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let's say I'll do this guy. I'm going to hold down the control key or the command key on the Mac to select more than one if you recall that. I'm going to do about maybe seven or eight pictures. So I'll do that one, do that one. Let me get an animal shot in here. So you can also see on the left hand side I've got my, my five pictures selected. Remember it tells me what I have here. All right, and then I'll do this one, and then I'll do, let's see, so I have eight pictures, also you can see down there, that's what it shows me. All right, very good. So now that I have these pictures chosen, if you look down on the bottom, I have this where it says collage. It says collage. Now, if you don't have collage on yours, if you remember, um, you want to go to Tools and then Configure Buttons to make sure that collage is there in the new version of Picasa. All right, so I'm going to click on collage, and then you'll notice that, well, actually, it'll for you, it'll automatically do look like this. It'll be a picture pile. So if you look on the left-hand side, you're going to see that you have um, a new kind of setting here where, you know, crop and everything else used to be. And you'll see that once you click on this drop-down, you have a number of different types of collages you can do. I'm only going to focus on two of them uh, because it's pretty much the same pattern once you get into it. All right, so... Picture Pile gives you the most flexibility and control over where your things go and how you size them and everything. So notice if I want to move this, all I do is click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. See that? And then it gets orange, all that stuff, all right, which is pretty cool. But now it comes in a certain size. So let's say, for example, I want to make this elephant a little bit bigger. Notice that when I click and drag and then I let go of my mouse, I'm going to get this little circle, just like we did with our text in a week one. So I can then click and drag. If you notice when I move my mouse over the circle, I get this little white cartoony hand. I can click and drag on that and then make it as big or small as I want. And I can also rotate it. All right, so you can totally just be as in control as you want with this. Okay, so I can move this around. I can do whatever I want, do all these things here. Okay, so I think that's pretty, pretty straightforward, you know, when you kind of mess around with a little bit. So that's resizing, moving it around, and rotating. All right now, there might be some times when, you see this photo right here? Something wrong with it. It's a beautiful photo, but I can't see it. All right, so what am I going to want to do? I'm going to want to bring it to the front. All right, so this is where your right click comes into play. Your right click. So I'm just going to simply right click on the photo. And notice I have a bunch of different options for me to work with. Remove, set as background, etc., etc. What I'm going to do here is bring to top. And just like that, it is now at the top of the heap. Okay, so you can do that with any of these. All right, and then you just kind of play around. Now, I mean, this is this is the one that you would choose if you really want, again, total control over I mean, if I could even really start doing this if I want to, you know, making them perfectly straight and then, you know, having this kind of effect going on. Now, let's go over here to the left-hand side and let's see some of our options then. All right. So let's start off with our picture borders, our picture borders. All right, you'll notice that right now none of them have like borders all around them, right? And this is my first choice, just the picture without a border, it's fine. And then I also have a plain white border. So if I click on that, every single one of them will have a plain border. And the reason why every single one got the border is because nothing was selected. All right, so if I go back to this one where nothing is, and then I'll let's say I only want a plain white border for this one, Notice it has the orange outline around there. Then I click here. Then only this one will have the border. Right? So it depends on if you have nothing selected, all of them have the effect. And if you have one thing selected, that one will have the effect. All right. And same thing for this one. You get this kind of like Polaroid thing, which might be kind of cool for certain things. You can even put some text on there as if like you, you wrote a little note on there. So there's a lot, a lot of interesting things you can do with the collage. So we have that going on. All right, and then we can also work with uh, different backgrounds. So we can have a background color. All right, so this little square here is going to bring up this color palette. 
and then notice what it does. Alright, wherever I move my mouse, that's the color I'm going to get. Very simple, very straightforward. And if you recall from the text segment, I can move my little eyedropper all the way onto the picture and then choose a color that I want. So I like this green and the grass, and then that's going to be my background color. And then I click it, and then that's done. Alright? Now, other things I can do is, let's say, for example, I'm actually going to get, I'm going to make it so only, I'm just kind of playing border like this. Let's say, for example, I want to have this as the background as opposed to the color as the background. So it's very simple. I'm going to click on this, and you'll notice that I have a number of different commands up on top here. Right? Select all, select none, remove. Right? I could actually remove these if I want to. But I can also set the picture that I've chosen now as the background. Because maybe you're going to want to do that sometimes for kind of a cool sort of effect there. So now I've got this. And then I can do this, and maybe, maybe I've decided i got too many pictures here, so let's get rid of this one, so I'm going to choose Remove, and that just goes away, and then I've got this, and then, you know, just kind of, you know, you're making it a little bit more interesting, a little, little more detail there, I can even move this off the frame, it doesn't have to be perfectly on there, and there you go, you know, so it's pretty, pretty straightforward. And uh, a lot of a lot of flexibility. All right, so you'll notice that once I've removed it, it's actually showing me um, all of the photos inside of my um, of my Africa photos if I want to. So I can actually bring some of these in if I want to as well. Now that I'm here, Just click and drag that, and then it's really really easy to bring it in. All right, I don't want that. I'm just going to remove it. All right, and that goes away. All right, but then notice this is really important. This is where a lot of people get messed up because we're saying, well, what happened to all of my settings here? So you go back to settings up here in the upper left, and now I'm here. All right, now a couple of other things is um, working with the page format. If you're planning on printing this out, it's going to be important to decide what size you're going to be printing it out on. All right, the, the default in this case was 4.3, but if I know I want it to be by 8.5 by, 8 by 10, notice how it changes sizes a little bit. All right, if I'm going to do a 4 by 6, you notice how it changes size a little bit. So it's going to be important because certain things will not fit on there. All right, so I'm going to keep in mind at, let's just say, 5 by 7. All right, and then um, you also have the ability to um, make it go different directions, right? Like you can have it be portrait versus landscape. Okay, and it changes in an instant. Really, really nice. All right, and then um, you have this draw shadows. All right, you can't tell here, but there's like a little bit of a drop shadow. Notice how this kind of looks like it's kind of hovering above this. All right, you see that? So I'm going to uncheck that, and can you see the difference there? If you keep clicking on and off, you'll actually see that there's kind of like this like shadow underneath the picture, and that's and that's just kind of designed to give it sort of like this three dimensionality. So I'm going to keep that. I kind of like that. And then if I had captions on there, the captions would actually show. All right, and then when I'm done, I can just simply click on Create Collage, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm going to show you a different type of collaging as well. All right, and then I can also make this the desktop background as well. Okay, so I'm going to move away from the picture pile. I'm going to do a different one, and this time I'm going to choose Mosaic. All right, I'm going to go to Mosaic. So I'm going to choose Mosaic, and then notice how it automatically just kind of goes right to what looks like a mosaic. Now, the first thing that I like to do once I get here is put a little spacing in between these. And it's really just more my aesthetic choice, but I'm just going to go to this part right here where it says none. And I'm going to click and drag, and notice I'm getting spacing in between here. And the color that the spacing is is the last color that I've chosen. So I'm going to choose maybe a, yeah, it's kind of like rusty brown there, right? Kind of matches some of the other settings there, the elephants and the, and the mud and everything, right? And then I can even say draw shadows, so it looks like they're kind of like above right there. So at this point, I've got something pretty cool. All right, and of course, I can change the orientation if I want to. I do that. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe that's what you want. All right. Now, each of these are kind of like conforming to the way a mosaic uh, can form within the size and the number of photos you have and the shape of the photos that are. So, so, so what we, can, we can play around with that if we want to. Like if we come down to the bottom, we can do shuffle pictures. We want to do just kind of like a random kind of mix-up of things. It's kind of cool. 
And now you can also click and drag these and you can switch them around too. See that? So you have a lot of control over it. It's pretty cool. So just kind of play around until you get what you like. Okay. Now let's just say for example, I'm working with one of these photos and I I'm not getting like like you know her head is cut off here. So really what I have to do is I have to adjust the photo to make it fit into the into the collage. Alright, everybody understanding that? So what I'm gonna want to do is actually edit this photo. So if you come down on the bottom, you'll see that I can actually view and edit this photo and then it'll come back. So her head's cut off. I'm gonna do the best I can then to to work with it. So I clicked on view and edit, it's gonna take me back to no, it shouldn't have got to here. So maybe I select I selected the wrong one. Sorry. So select here and then view and edit. Okay, and then there they are. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crop out um, this bottom part. So I'm gonna go to crop and then I want to keep all that beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna click and drag and keep the good stuff. All right, because they're giving me a little bit too much here. I'm going to say apply. Come back to my collage. And there you go. Totally fixed. So you have control, even though you're in collage, you have control over um, you know, different things that you can do. All right? So then again, when you're done, you simply click on create collage. And you know, this is the same thing also, by the way, with the background and everything, shadows, landscape, everything like that. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. So. I'm going to click on Create Collage, and you're going to see that once I do that, it's going to come up. It's going to say, all right, it's going to make it into a draft, and then it will be done in a matter of seconds. You can see a little status there on the lower right. And once this is done, it will it will be saved inside of a folder that Picasso creates for you called Draft, excuse me, called Collage, and that's where you can actually make edits to it, meaning like you can make this all black and white if you want to, you can put text on it, you can do whatever you want to it, even after the fact, because it treats it like a normal JPEG, and you can also come back and edit the collage once again, you're not stuck with this, all right, so that's a pretty cool thing, so notice here, here's collage, collages right there, and then there's the photo I was just working on, I'll double click it, and then notice that there's edit collage right there for me to work with, all right, I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay, excellent. Now I'm going to move on to creating movies in Picasso. All right, so let's um, come back to library, and I'm going to find some other pictures to work with. And this time we'll do Cambodia. Why not? All right, so we'll do a little movie of some of these guys here. All right, just for the sake of time. All right, this is a fun shot of wildlife in Phnom Penh. All right, so I'm just going to choose uh, just a short film here just for the sake of time once again and I want to make a movie so I have them all selected just like I did with collages I'm gonna make them all selected and you'll notice that down here in the bottom I have an icon that says movie so I'm simply just gonna click on that and as soon as I do that it takes me to this other window to make a movie just like I did for collage but now I'm in movie maker mode okay so notice here I have three tabs up top here I have movie slide and clips, movie, slide, and clips. So, first thing they're asking me to is, do you want to put in an audio for this? Okay, for this movie, I'm not going to, but all you do is click on load, find an MP3 to put in there, and that'll that will complement your movie there. That'll be the the um, the movie soundtrack for you. Now, this part is going to be what's known as your transition style, which means that when when your slides come up, how are they transitioning? Like, how are they going from? Are they going to dissolve, pan and zoom, wipe, circle, push? So you're going to have to experiment with what you think is best for you. I'm just going to show you one for right now. That's going to be the pan and zoom, which means that it's going to be coming in and out, in and out, right? And then um, and then going across. Like we kind of add some like animation or what some people call the Ken Burns effect. All right. So then for dimensions, I'm just going to choose 800 by 600. And then you know the bigger you have, the bigger the file size, but also the better the quality. And if I have captions, I'm going to put captions in. So this is for all of the movie settings right here, not just for one particular slide, if you understand that. So every slide is going to have pan and zoom. How long is the slide going to be? I skipped over this part. So I'm going to make these, I'm going to make everything about 
let's say four seconds. Okay, so that's again all the movie settings. Now, if I want to do individual slides, for this particular slide I'm looking at, I don't want to say Cambodia one. I'm going to click on slide right now, and then notice it's showing me the text of what's on here. So I'm going to say, welcome to Cambodia. Oops. All right, and then I could change the text color if I want to. I can change the background color. You know, notice what you can do. You know, like whatever you want. All right, and I can change the text color. You know, everything. All right, so really straightforward. I can make it bold. I can make it italics. And it all has to do with whether the the um, what we call it font allows you to do that. So I can make this bigger, just so I can do with normal text. All that stuff here. So welcome to Cambodia, and then the casino. All right, very nice. Now, how am I going to get now to the next slides to work with them? Because maybe I want to do some other stuff with the next slide. So notice here at the bottom, I have all of my slides down here. So I click on this, and then there's whoa, some crazy stuff going on there. All right, so you'll see here, I can put a caption here if I want to. All right, I'll just say it's uh, draw. All right now. Notice where the caption shows up and notice what it looks like. It looks like it like the last one did right from my Welcome to Cambodia. Um, so um, I want to choose a different what we call a template. All right. So notice here it says template. So I can move it in other places here. If I say caption, notice it's going to come down here. And if I say caption classic, right, it draws a little box around it. You know, you can have scrolling credits, music video left, right? It's going to do that. So really all depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to actually make it so it doesn't have that. So I'm going to come to here, and then I'm going to make this. Let's see if I do white. Yeah, white's going to make it easier to see. All right, and then et cetera, et cetera. And then you're pretty much ready to move on. You just keep going, going, going. And I'll do one more. I'm just going to say OMG. All right, and I'm actually going to make it so this is going to be the, f the first thing that I see because this was the first thing that I see. And I'm going to show you how you can reorder it as well. So this time I'm going to make this black since it's easier to read on there. All right, and then you know you'll see it's you know really just straightforward stuff. But now I want this to be first. So how do you think I do that? It's quite simple. I click and drag. See that? click and drag and drop. Now this is going to be the first of all the picture slides. So now I'm just going to do a quick preview of this so you can see what that's going to look like. And notice I have this little playhead here where I can click and drag this if I want to. All right, and then start all the way from the beginning and then simply play. This little green button here is play and see what it did? It brought in my cool fancy animation for the text and that's going to fade right in. And now look what it's doing. See, there's my pan and zoom. And then, oh, that's pretty cool. It's a draw. All right, and then something else is going to come up. I don't have any caption in there, but I can fix that. All right, and then I'm pretty much done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say stop. And then you can continue doing all those things as you like to do it. You can simply delete photos too. Okay, I'm going to click on this, and then I can click. See, it says remove selected slide. I don't want that anymore. I can add photos in there by clicking on clips right there, just like we did in the past, right, with uh, with our collages. So let's just bring in this picture, click and drag, and it's done. See, just like that. So everything's pretty pretty self-explanatory, I think. Pretty intuitive, I should say. All right, and then just like collages, when I'm done, I'm going to say create movie, and that'll take a little while longer. just because a movie is a pretty big file. All right, and then that should take maybe about a minute or two for, for me. All right, so I'm going to finish off this tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, it's, uh, it's finishing it off. It's saying 25% or whatever. Okay, and then I could actually upload this to YouTube and all that stuff as well. Once we get into our video segment, I'm going to show you more of the things that we can do. All right, um, I will uh, see you soon. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.